What's going on, baby? Welcome back to the channel. And today, well, I know I said I was going to do another review of the uh, MA Performance Tune. So I'm going to do a little bit more than that on this video. So I have to make sure I got my little talking points ready. I'm right here. I just got off. Right now, I'm waiting on the car to warm up. Let me roll the window down a little bit. Hold on, it's a lot of air coming through, a lot of wind. All right, so hopefully that's not, you're not hearing that. But so, so here we go. So the MA Performance Tune, now that tune, man, it's, it's nice. Now I started out with that, coming from there from stock, man, it's like, a, it's a huge jump. And it's nice, to, and it feels good. Now, for that tune, if I had to sum up that tune and how, and, and my experience with it in one word, that word would be smooth all right so saying that now i had an issue to where one day i was on my way home from work man i'm riding and then all of a sudden you know i start seeing some weird numbers on the access port you know i could be tripping you know i don't know but um it kind of it kind of threw me off you know I, i'm going and all of a sudden my damn my damn went down to uh what did it i wrote that down what did it, what did it drop down to it went to uh, 0.832, mm. and I thought that was weird because then I started seeing feedback knock and find knock learn. I started seeing stuff going on there. I was seeing like, I saw 1.41 on feedback knock, then 2.41, and then I even seen it flash 3.41 on there. And uh, and on my um, my find knock learn, it was just it was doing the same thing. It went from like 0 0.35, 0 0.70, and uh, and. I was like, man, it was like, I was kind of freaking me out a little bit. So I was like, you know what? I think it's time to take this map off here. So I, what I did is I wound up taking it off. And I was like, well, I still haven't tried the, uh, I haven't tried the Cobb stage one map yet. So I figured maybe I'll just, i load that map on there. And I wound up taking a picture of what, you know, what I had on the access port. And I sent it to MA Performance and, you know, talked to Kyle. And Kyle, you know, they're looking over. So I'm still waiting to hear back about that. Cause, you know maybe i'm tripping maybe it's just it's not bad but it just kind of freaked me out a little bit so i went on ahead and i decided to try the car map while i'm waiting so i don't want to because i don't want to go back to stock i know but uh so i tried that one man and so the car now if i had to sum that up my experience with that into one word that word would be punchy i don't know if that makes sense so i'm gonna try and make it make sense so now coming from Coming from uh, my my uh, my previous car, you know, it was an 0300 Civic, had a, a K swap motor in it, all motor. I was getting like what to the wheels 235, and um and I know every time and that that was a real punchy feel, it, you know, it was just just raw, just bam bam. Every time you shift gear, put you in the seat, put you in the seat. So now the reason why I gave each each one of those maps is it's. Uh, that word of being either smooth for the MA performance or punchy for the um, the Cobb one is this the MA performance tune. It's uh, is it's very smooth. I mean, it, I mean, the shifting from gear to gear is smooth. The only where reason, only place where I felt a little bit of like eh, choppiness is going from first to second because it's like first is not even there, and you get right in the second and you good, you good to go after that, and it's just smooth and it's like a gradual you know push smooth transition with the power which is good you know and if your driving style matches that now the issues that i had it could have been the fact that you know remember this is an off-the-shelf tune i'm in texas so i'm sure wherever well well ma performance is located i'm sure they had a different elevation and all this stuff and it's kind of set from where they are yeah um so maybe that's why i mean i don't know until i find out from ma performance but the uh the, the, as far as the cob tune man that thing is for my driving style for what i'm used to man it feels it almost it feels better to me that's just me you know not saying anything bad about any performance tune because it's nice too i like it too but the way the uh cob stage one feels it feels really it, i mean it just it, it, it kind of puts you in the seat a little bit but i'm i'm assuming that's because they put the uh 
they the way they got it set up. Hold on, man. my freaking phone going crazy. Shit. All right, uh, it, it's they got the torque is is more like at the beginning, so you feel it all there. It feels more of a torquier tune than than the MA performance one, because I believe all that stuff is set up in the mid range, which is good too. But for me, for what I'm used to, you on the street, you really want to feel it like right away. So that one is just it, it, for my driving style and what I like. It feels better to me. I mean, I could be tripping. I mean, I like it. So not to say anything bad about either of them, because both of them they are they both good, and I like them. But I think I'm leaning a little bit more towards the Cobb one, the Cobb Stage One tune first. I mean, so I mean, I don't know. So until I hear back, I mean, I, I'll go back to the other one and try and compare it again. I could be you know tripping out. So where are we at? Oh, we about warmed up, baby. Oh yeah. So now there's another thing as well. So now at this point, let's talk about the elephant in the room. So let's get moving first. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. Now I've had to rethink. Let me close this up. Close this up. I had to rethink how I want to modify my car now because when I went, I went to a tuning shop, one local place that we have here in Houston. You know, and I was like telling them my what my plans and what I wanted to do because you know I was thinking, you know, maybe do the TGV deletes and the EGR deletes and stuff like that. And right away he kind of like shut me down. He's like, no, nah, well we can't do that. You know, it's a lot of stuff going on right now where we can't even we're not going to do any sort of tunes like that that modify the emission systems on on, on our cars. And I was like, well, dang. So you know, my whole idea and thought process on what I wanted to do with my car, I had to change all of that now. So, I mean, the first thing, what he offered to me to do that they would do was, uh, oh shit, look, I need to, I need to, uh, I, I, he just said, just down pipe, uh, three port boost controller, and it has to be a caddy down pipe too. No, they're, not, they're not even tuning for uh, catless. They are not doing that anymore. So that's pretty much out of the question. Oh my God, that's a lot of wind. Oh, uh, uh, uh. So it seems like now it's, it's things have changed. So I'm having to rethink how I want to do my stuff. Now I, 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 I'm, I'm starting to get into where I'm rushing again. Like I was doing with my previous cars. Like everything felt so rushed. So I kind of need to sit back, chill out, and enjoy the ride. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna try and try and stick to my goals. You know, I'm trying to do stuff from a longevity standpoint to make sure that I got the necessary parts installed on the car to support me adding more power to it. So I'll probably be rolling out what I'm gonna do with that, you know, as I go. So I feel like I'm I mean like right now I'm still on the carb, the carb tune right now. I'm still trying to let the engine get a little heat in it before I really start trying to get on it a little bit. And then I'll, I'll let y'all see that. All right, y'all. I decided to change the camera angle on you a little bit. See if we can, uh, see if I can find somewhere we can do a couple of little pulls. It is. Uh-huh. Alright, so here we are at first. Damn. Shit bouncing around. Huh. Damn. I need to find a different kind of mount, man. This mount here is a little bit too much for this. Well, hmm. seems like that was a fail. I wanted to try and show y'all, get y'all like a POV, but I think in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to get a different sort of mount. Maybe uh, something I can mount to my seat. Cause it's going to be hard, because right now, using it on my head, it uh, kind of bounces too much. But I'm sure y'all can hear that. Oh shit much traffic right now I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be on this here map which gives me time so I'm gonna be on this map for a minute at least until you know it may performance get back to me on that uh 
on that issue and then I'll just do pulls with both of them and I'll let the way that y'all can kind of see what they're doing as far as for how they shift I mean even though it's still even I'll say one thing about the MA performance tune is shifting through the gears is smooth without any of that little jerk jerk bounce and stuff on this car map it, it happens quite a bit you know when the rough you get with it, it's like it boom 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 I don't know if that makes sense I'm sure if anybody who driven on the map y'all probably already know but it's like it's like it's, it's it's choppy and then it smooths out then it starts pulling which i like and don't like i'd rather just be had the same smoothness as the ma performance but the but stay torquey the way it is i'm sure the only way i'm really gonna get something you know perfect like that is to go and get a a, a pro tune or e tune or something like that maybe which is what I'm gonna plan on doing. I'm just gonna take my time with it and enjoy the journey. So I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what you think as far as for how this this new thing going on with the EPA and this is really about to change how we are able to modify these cars. So I'm trying to figure out a, a different route to get to my goal, which I kind of know what that's probably gonna be, but I don't know. I'll have to see. If y'all got any suggestions, if y'all know supporting mods that kind of help get you close to 300 wheel horsepower, man, hey man, throw them, throw it in the comments, man. Let me know. Help your boy uh, come up with a new plan of attack around here. Mods but, uh, done. Uh, so the video I got coming up next for you know on Wednesday is a little uh, little experiment that I want to try out, man. So if y'all want to know what that is and what my plans on what I'm trying to do tune in on wednesday for that video around 3 p.m is when it's gonna come out so look out for it so well y'all as you can see the thing i was talking about about the bouncing and stuff like that and how it kind of jerks a little bit well y'all noticed that because i only have the the camera was bouncing while i was trying to do a pull so that was like a fail so uh, i'm gonna try and do it again but i think i'm gonna try i'm gonna order me some different mounts for the inside of the car that way then i can give you a better uh better video as far as for those are these falling on me um what was i saying oh yeah a better video as far as for you know the pulls that i'm doing where you can kind of see what the gauges are doing and how the car is responding and you'll also get a little look at the uh, the numbers too that i that i got on the uh, access port so man hey once again man i appreciate y'all man thank you to all those who subscribe subscribe to the channel and those who are not subscribed please man it don't cost you anything man show your boy some support man if you like what you see subscribe don't cost you nothing in it and it helps me out and that way i get to put out more stuff and i get to know exactly how y'all feel so you know and, and as far as to the stuff that i talked about in the video and just give me your comments on what you think about this epa thing and uh any ideas as far as for you know what i should be planning as far as for my next steps for, i'm you know I'm, I'm on the goal to get 300 horsepower so uh y'all let me know what you think man like subscribe hit that bell notification and your boy will see you in the garage on the next video peace Thank <laughs> you.